No! No! Hey everyone, I like cheese, but I don't know like the names of cheeses that I like. So I decided to buy myself one of those cheese of the month clubs where they send you a bunch of cheeses every month. And so I plan to review each type of cheese and then put it in a tier list as to how good I think it is relative to all the other cheeses. I have three different types of crackers, rosemary and thyme, black pepper, and just plain. And the cheeses I'm gonna be looking at, camembert, grand vui cheddar, vanilla scam zola, is that what it says? Somebody should say scam, scam orza, what a name. Yeah, my cheese is a scam, that's the point. Goat cheese. People love goat cheese. I've never had it. I've, I don't know if I've had any of these cheeses before because I don't remember the names of cheeses. I just eat the cheeses in front of me. I want to become cheese educated. I realize I don't have a knife. I'm already failing in the process of eating cheese. Just give me one second to get a knife. <laughs> How do you fail to eat cheese? First try the common bear. Yeah, there you go. Make sure I have a plate for this. One of those whitey looking cheeses. I don't mean cheese for white people, I mean it's got like that white film on top of it. You generally have it like family events and stuff. This is the cheese my mother would put out. Well, I'm assuming it is, unless there's like a lot of cheeses that look like this. Camembert is very good. Well, I'll be the judge of that. I'm the cheese judge here. I think one cracker is traditional. Okay. It's way more cheese than there is cracker here. Just, just tell me if I'm making a mistake, chat. I don't know cheese etiquette, you know. Smaller cut? Too much cheese? Yeah, okay. It has a taste that lingers. That's pretty good. I say it's like amazing, but like, I'm not unhappy to eat this cheese. It's a little slimy, like squishy kind of stuff, and it's not crumbly. But yeah, I'd definitely give this a solid like, C, I suppose? You're saying two crackers helps? All right, I'll do two crackers. Cheese sandwich. Honestly, I disagree. The second cracker like overwhelms the cheese and you just get less cheese flavor. When you have one cracker, you're like, Half chewing cheese and half choosing chewing cracker. And you get the, the textures of both and they complement each other well. So the next one is of course the cheddar. Okay, well, they're hard to open there. Seem to have some sort of child lock on this cheese. Okay. It's a far more crumbly cheese. It's a harder cheese too. They, they're good? Has a more full on pungent taste. Maybe even a little bitter if I know what bitter is, which maybe I don't. I'm not sure I liked it. I mean, it's not bad. If it was on a counter offered to me, I would eat this, but I wouldn't buy this. Tasting this now makes me want to put the camembert higher. We'll try it with uh, two crackers. Like the initial taste of the cheese is barely there. And as it builds, it doesn't build in a positive way. It's just like, it's not bad, it's edible. There's nothing special about this. Like I'm, I'm putting this in like a, a D, but eating this just makes me think the camembert should maybe be a B. Yeah, I'll put the camembert in a B. I'll do my best not to reassess things, but like in a way, I'm, I'm judging them relative to each other in a way, right? Like it's entirely possible that I've just gotten a bad cheddar. As we go through the months, it'll be made more obvious whether it's the type of cheese, from why would you put mold in anything? Or like the seller of the cheese, that really matters. So we're looking at this scam orza cheese. Oh, it's a really squishy cheese. You could build sand castles out of this cheese. Well, I guess it'd be cheese castles, but you could, you could do that if if the cheese was sand. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, how do you open cheeses like this? Is, is this like a little thing up here somewhere? I did not order a logic puzzle, I ordered cheese. I need to cut at the bottom. Ah, I got it, okay. This might be one of those cheeses that you need to like dip into, you know? Take a scoop out of here. A more spreadable cheese, ah, okay, well. Oh, it's gooey. There's definitely a huge amount to spread with a knife. I, I do have a knife, why didn't I just use it? Whoops. Is this a fair test because I've broken the cracker? No, nah, it, it, that's that's how it, it came out, so that's what it is. There's an immediate taste. It's not even a taste I associate with cheese. What the hell is that? I try with two crackers, and I'll use a knife to spread it this time. It's it's sticky, like it's a, it's like a putty texture. It's like cold, a little bit slimy, but not. It doesn't have much of a taste. You know, aftertaste, how there's like a taste in your mouth after you finish eating? This just has that permanently. It's not an overwhelming taste, it's just like presence. This is less like you're eating cheese and more like feeling a texture with an aftertaste. Yeah, this is a C cheese. There's nothing I hate about this cheese, but nothing that I love about it either. Well, I don't like the difficulty in opening the package, but I won't hold that against it. It's the one you go back for many times when like you're in a conversation you don't really want to be in. So you're like, oh, I gotta get some cheese just to excuse me kind of thing. Or like you hang around and eat as a way to kill time, but not a cheese that you like seek out at the store. And this is one I'm most interested in, goat cheese. 
Native pepperberry. I've never tried goat cheese. There's another squishy cheese. It's a bar. Bar, get it? Like like a goat? Cause cause they bar. You get, you get that one? It's 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 a bar and and bar. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm so good. Ah, thank your lucky stars that you happen to fall upon my content one day, chat. <laughs> anyway, next time we're getting scissors. Okay, may I have scissors? Oh, there's actual liquid in here. I'm happy didn't open it like I did the last one. It would have gone everywhere. I guess I meant to just chop it a little bit. Bar. The others didn't have a like a smell when I was having them, but this one, like I can I can smell this, and it smells like a flowery yogurt kind of thing. It's not an overwhelming smell, but there is a smell to it. It's liquidy. The softest one I've had so far. It's not bad. That taste is indescribable. I'm bad at describing taste. Well, I'm, I'm bad at describing taste in general, but taste lingers a bit. It's squelchy, it's liquidy. It reminds me of yogurt, in a way. With that being said, it doesn't impress me. I'm never gonna buy this cheese. This camembert, there's a, there's a chance I might buy this. But the rest of them, the cheddar certainly not. The other two, I mean, I'm not gonna be unhappy to see them, I think. If I see the ch this this cheddar, I'm like, oh man, it could, could be anything else. I'd still eat it, but... Yeah, so give this a C. It is not unpleasant. There's nothing really bad about it. It's nothing really good about it either. Yeah, that is our first session of Dark Viper AU Reviews Cheese. The eventual goal is to maybe do like 12 of these. So a whole year of me doing this, and then we make one video out of it. That's the dream. Continuing my monthly cheese review, this is the month of July, 2023. Not opened this yet, so I don't know what I've received. From Weird Wool. Okay. Seem to have been given four. I suppose there's no reason to say all their names first. I may as well just say the names as I do them. So this is traditional cloth matured cheddar. There's one thing about cheese, it's hard to open. I'll be sure to make some cheesy jokes throughout this to make this uh gooder. Why don't I have a plate? Yeah, Domino's pizza box. Perfect. The thing with cheese is it's hard to know if like the way it looks is legit. This end is harder than this end, like it's got a different color. So I guess I'll just chop off this part. It's probably still fine, but... Okay, should've got a sharper knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. This isn't a plate. This is a plate. I'm not very optimistic about this one, chat. Already don't like the smell. Oh, oh, oh! I don't even know where that smell is. It's bad. I wouldn't say the taste is unpleasant. It's just not really there. The texture, I don't like. I know it's not very descriptive, but we'll do one more, but I'm not impressed by this cheese. Like it doesn't taste as bad as it smells. I'm not truly displeased with this cheese. It's like a five out of 10. If I was at some sort of a party or something and they had this cheese, I put it on a cracker, I'd probably have multiple amounts just because it was there. Hmm, that's the weirdest taste I've ever had. Like, sometimes it does actually taste bad, but sometimes not. It's a very confusing cheese. What's weirder to me is this hard part of the front here. Is this, is this meant to be what that's meant to look like? You can read it D. It has no redeeming qualities. Neither has texture, its smell, its taste. I'm losing half the cheese. It's annoying to open. You're not a fan. The hard part is the rind, Matt. You are not supposed to eat that. I've heard that word before. I think you're correct. Good truffled cow. Truffle and triple cream. <clears throat> Sounds crazy. I mean, it's triple. Oh, baby, the triple. Got a bunch of layers here. Uh, it's one of these cheeses. So do one cracker. Like this is the cheese that you, you get when you're over your grandmother's house. And she has that little tray out. And she's got like a cheese there. Smells like cum, chat. That's that's weird. Might be bamboozled here. Mm, yeah, it's, it's not pleasant. Doesn't look pleasant on the cracker either. The, the appearance matters, you know? It took every amount of willpower that I had not to spit that out. I need a palate cleanser. I'm not, I'm not having a second shot at that. <laughs> did it taste good? <laughs> no. What did that taste like? It tasted like spoiled pistachio nuts. Like the aftertaste right now is pistachio nuts. I can taste it. It's right there. And it smells like cum. And the texture is... Would you call this slimy? What would you call this texture? I, I gotta say, have I put any cheeses in F yet? Yeah, this is this is an F cheese. I'm, I'm no. 
If we call it a hot garbage, a F hot garbage, that's, yeah, um, no. This is the first cheese that I've tasted where I would not eat it if it was offered to me. I I've yet to find one of these looking cheeses that's this bad. Every single time I've had one of these looking cheeses, they've been fine. Now I'm gonna be af afraid for the rest of my life. Every time I see one of these types of cheese, I'm gonna be like, oh, I hope it's not that. The idea that anyone out there eats this scares me. It feels like this cheese should have like a functional purpose, like scaring people away from your house or getting rid of bugs or something. And this isn't an eating cheese. Matt, please, you ate the rind again. Cut the cheeses in half and eat from the center. What? Bullshit. I don't believe you. No, I'm pretty sure with these cream cheeses, you eat the outside. Uh, 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 it's even worse. You're, you're, you are bamboozling me, sir. You're just trying to make me go in for another. I can't do it. No. You're trying to get one in on your old boy Dark Vipe you here. Lartison Organic Mountain Man. Third generation cheesemakers. Now you're gonna tell me this is not meant to be edible? Like the outside? It looks like a cookie. Doesn't smell unpleasant, but it doesn't smell good. It's edible? I swear it's edible! There's no way that's not edible, you crazy! Most cheeses form with rinds. Usually they cut it off if you're buying store brand cheese. Also, brie isn't cream cheese, it's a fresh cheese. Oh. So there are some cheeses that you can eat the outside though. Okay then, I'll cut this off then. I'm losing a lot of the cheese. It's like, it's like, it's like a fruit, you gotta eat the right part of the cheese. Like, it's, it's crazy. So all good? I'm not eating the wrong part of the cheese? Mmm, don't like the smell. This cheese is pretty good. I am not displeased. You're promising me that I can't eat the rind on the outside. If that's the case, I would never buy this cheese. It's too difficult to eat. It's wax, you can eat it? I told ya! The ones where you can't are normally packaged like the first one. Okay. But it should say on the container which ones you can eat and which ones you can't. It sm still doesn't smell good. It smells like... Socks. It doesn't smell like terrible. It's, it's like you're like a few steps away from your socks. You're like, what's that smell? You can kind of smell it, you know? It's mid. Super mid cheese. It would not see then. It is mid. Not a bad cheese. If I can eat the outer skin, yeah, it'd still be mid, but I hope that you can. I'm gonna say, chat, this has not been a good selection of cheeses. I wonder what I've got myself into. I expected to find the wonders of the cheese world, and I'm thus far not particularly impressed. Tarwin Blue Berry Creek Cheese. Okay, this has a rind that it looks like you're not meant to eat. Oh, it's blue cheese? Uh, I don't know. Isn't blue cheese meant to smell really bad? Ah! I got a bit on me. <laughs> oh lord. Mm. Where's the exp expiration date? 2038th. It's next month, right? I can't eat this. I can't get near it. Like, I, like it's like... I need a mask. It was like... Perfectly safe to eat. You're smelling the mold that is put in blue cheese, which is where it gets its name from. Why would you put mold in anything? Like moldy chalk. I'll try anything, chat. Anything. Like you put it in front of me, I'll be like, yeah, yeah. Like bulls, testicles, yeah. Give me, give me. I'll, I'll, I'll take them. Th this is, this is pushing me my limit. I'm, I'm beginning to question all my life choices. Getting these cheeses, trying new things. This is, th th this is the hottest garbage I've, I've, I've never had to put on a face mask to eat something before. So I was looking forward to at least finding one cheese that I could eat. Looks like I'm just eating crackers. Hey Matto, if you're even disgusted by blue cheese, you'd absolutely hate a cheese called Kazimatsu. It's a delicacy in Sardinia and they put live maggots in it and eat them with the cheese. Does it smell and taste bad? If it doesn't smell or taste bad, I could probably eat that. Close my eyes. It's fine. If the food you're producing creates a like bubble of repellingness on the thing, like you shouldn't be eating it, you know? Yeah, water crackers, S tier. Go with everything. Not fattening, fattening particularly. And uh, I guess that's it for this month. Basically, I hope I get better luck next month. Oh no. <laughs> I 
I have absolutely nothing positive to say about this cheese. I have had no breakfast, so what I have is the box of cheese. I have some raspberries here. I've also got some tasty sticks and some crackers. So let us see what the cheese gods have given me today. I might even be already able to smell it. This is not a good sign. Oh, this is not a good sign. There's definitely something rotting in here, chat. How long could it be left outside? Honestly, it looks fine though. Because of this huge slab of ice with it. So like, assuredly, even if it's out there for an hour or two, it should be fine. This at least looks like normal cheese. Not like last month. So this is called the Compass Botanical Gin. Rich Jersey milk in a soft brie like cheese that is washed twice weekly with Bass and Flinders Distilleries Gin. It doesn't look like a compass, it looks like cheese. Yeah, this is false advertising. So this is one of the cheeses that I'm not meant to eat the outside. It looks edible. Not a terrible smell. It, am I meant to eat this? It seems like I'm meant to be able to. It's fine, you can eat it, okay. Small piece. The smell is like a three out of 10. It's not good, but it's not like the worst, you know, compared to last time. Isn't blue cheese meant to smell really bad? Ah! That's not bad. When eating it, didn't have a really big taste, but now that I've finished eating it, like the aftertaste is there and it's not unpleasant. I give it like a B. I would not be unhappy to receive this cheese or to be a place where this cheese is, and I would totally go back for multiple amounts over the time I was there. I wouldn't like camp it. I wouldn't like have a bat trying to beat people away from this precious cheese that I found. But I would totally, you know, I would have some. We're already doing better than last month. Have a raspberry as a palate cleanser. I, I, I think that's how that works, right? Did I wash the raspberry? I didn't wash the raspberries! For those who don't understand my panic, last time there was a slug in there. And I ate the raspberries even though there was a slug in there. That was, that was not good. Stone and Crow Moonshine Cow's Milk Semi-Hard Cheese. It's got that bit at the top, which is like super hard. So I'm assuming I'm not meant to eat that part. Oh, it looks like there's a little flap at the back to open here. It's, it's good, it's good. Oh, it doesn't open the cheese completely. Oh, you should start giving some rating to these for packaging. The Compass Cheese, easy to open. This one wasn't too bad either. Nah, can I just take a bite out of it, chat? Screw the cracker, yes. That wasn't much of a bite. <laughs> Smells not terrible. A four out of ten. I have absolutely nothing positive to say about this cheese. It just exists. It feels generous to give it a C, but it's edible. Maybe except the 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 end part could not be edible, but yeah, give it a C. I wasn't unhappy with my eating. I'm comparing everything to that stuff I ate last month. This is pushing me my limit. Palate cleanse with a. Tasty stick. Granny Blue Rich and Buttery Organic Milk. It's meant to be milk or cheese. I'm not liking the look of this chat. It's got a hard end again. When they're so milky and uh, it's like this. Eh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh no. It's nowhere near as bad as the one last month. I, I need a mask. It was like. And just because something smells bad doesn't mean it's not going to taste good, chat. I am, I'm not happy right now. My decision to continue eating that is one I regret right now. It tastes like sour pistachio nuts. Like pistachio nuts that have been left like out in the sun. Like someone's dropped pistachio nuts there and come back like two weeks later and thought, oh, oh, I, these are still edible and scooped them back into a pile and given them specifically to me. Awful. Uh, I'm gonna give that an F. Can it be an F that's still slightly higher than the one from last week? Oh Lord. Everything's gonna be compared to that stinky cheese. That was a biohazard. With pretty much any kind of blue cheese, you'll want something to round off the taste rather than eating it straight. Try honey, jam, or a sweet fruit or berry. We're not judging how cheese will go with literally everything in existence. We're judging it on its own merits. That may harm some cheese's ability to be successful in this test, but nevertheless. 
Gin Herbalist, Tasmanian handmade sheep milk cheese. It's from Tasmania, chat. Little Australia. It's not hard, but it's like, no, it's like soft either. It's slimy. It has like the softest smell. Barely anything. I don't have high hopes for this. Is this one where I'm not allowed to eat the outside? Because the, the outside looks like a rock. Why is cheese so weird? I don't know. Cheese is one of the weirdest goddamn foods. I'll just grab a bit from the middle then. Seems like mold to you. I mean, it, it, cheese is all mold. That's what cheese is. What you want is the good mold though, not the bad mold. I think the outside would be fine. Don't eat the pit side. I mean, maybe the outside is bad. Two crackers, there's a lot of cheese. Okay, you get right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd love a sandwich made that good, chat. The longer I ate it, the worse it got. It's hard to give this a C. I don't think it deserves a C. It is edible. That's all I can say for it. After taste is mild, the taste of it itself is just, what even is it? A chalky kind of cheese. It's like when you try and describe a food in terms that don't relate to the food. I don't know how to do that with this one. It is a cheese tasting cheese. We're kind of chalky. I give it a D. Ah, D, D feels so cruel though, but nah. I want to go back for another. If this was somewhere that I was, I would not go back for seconds. And so that ends this month's cheese review. Let's see what happens next month. Cheese, 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 cheese. So I can't remember when this box of cheese came in. It's like little breadsticks. Mmm. Smells funky. Oh. The hell? It's a glass. We've got some weird cheeses today, chat. I have no plate. The perfect plate. The perfect cheese plate. So the first cheese, Malawa Cheese Co. Malawa Blue. We've had some issues with blue cheese, chat. Ugh. Blue cheese seems to be code for toxic evilness. So we've got the rind at the back here that I'm not meant to be eating. But we'll see if any other part of the cheese is actually edible. Oh, that's the, that's the smell. That's the smell. That is the terrible. Blue cheese smell. <laughs> not as bad as the last blue cheese though. It smells like grim death, but I know smelling it, I'm not also gonna die. This side's gonna rind too? Like how much of the cheese is edible? I need gloves for this, like surgical gloves. Oh God. This is some scam where the people who make this are like, wait a second, we can just get rid of our rotten, terrible cheese by calling it blue cheese. Pat out this collection. Genius. All the cheese snobs will be like, oh, like, I like all cheese. I don't even like blue cheese. Uh. The cracker and some cheese. It doesn't even spread. Who eats this garbage? Too much? There's barely anything. That cheese is made for salad? What, to kill people in a salad? Is this a murder weapon? It's so much. Okay, fine. I have to deal with this for the rest of the time now. Put two crackers. So we'll, we're, like, the, the cracker to cheese ratio means there's less cheese now. The addition of a second cracker meant that I had to take longer before swallowing it. If you ignore the taste, the texture, the smell, the packaging, it's a fine cheese. Taking those things into account, I'm gonna give this cheese a uh, an F. As a matter of fact, I don't know exactly what's on the tier list right now, because I haven't made it yet. Let's make it a separate tier, F minus, specifically for blue cheese. I might save a little bit of this for later, so I can put it in a salad to murder a person, as that person in chat suggested. You're now an accomplice to my murders. Random person in chat. So thank you for the suggestion. But now my borders ruins. Mm. That's some good Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max, put in the uh, S tip. Got the, the glass vintage here. Gla glass vintage, what's that again? Where's my monthly Pepsi Max box? This is like a normal cheese. It's got a cow on it. Vintage apple box smoked Tilba cheese. It's operated by a family. And it's owned by a family as well. Interesting. Not born of virgins, these people. It's like a normal looking cheese right now. Look at it, normal looking, normal looking cheese. I can open it. But basically no scent. Has like a smoky taste. Oh, it says it's smoked? Oh, all right, apple box smoked. Okay, yes. <laughs> I, can, I can taste the smoke. 
If anything, it's all I taste. Like, I would think I would normally give it a C, but just because it came off the back of a blue cheese, weird phrasing, I want to give it like a B, because this is edible. This is edible cheese, people. I would eat it if I was at some place and it was there. I'd be like, yeah, let's fucking go. Got my crackers. Sitting here at home, I'm like, I need this cheese. I can do better than this. But like, if you're a person who likes smoked cheese, I think you'd be happy with that. I'm not a particularly smoky guy. But now we're getting onto the really weird stuff. Driftwood, soft bark wrapped cheese, long paddock cheese. I'm a moldy cheese because it's part of my delicious nature and I'm perfectly safe and delectable to eat. Oh. If you need a warning on your food being like, look, I know it looks like shit, but trust me, this is good. Either I'm about to have something really terrible here or something really good. Trust me, bro, you can eat this, I swear. It's got a wrapping on, like it's, it's, got, a, it's got a fucking wrapping. It's, it's actually like wood. Like I'm being protected from whatever's in here. It's like thousands of years have passed and previous generations have put like barriers to keep me away from whatever's in here. And I just don't know the language. And I'm just like getting in there, you know? I'm about to unleash some evil or poison myself. Like, does this cheese ever go off? Like, do they update the labels? Like, it says it's safe now, but maybe that label was written like four years ago. And I'm about to die. I can I can smell bad stuff. It's that, that waxy cheese taste. This, again, it smells like cum, chat. I know, it's weird to say. I'm sure there are many different types of scent of cum. This, this is cum scent right now, okay? I don't want to describe it that way, but that is, that is it. I assume I'm not meant to eat this white stuff. Ugh, what is this? Like, mm. <laughs> what is that smell? Like a good amount, chat? It had like no flavor until I started to swallow it. And then I had this taste of like rotten eggs, but not a bad tasting rotten eggs. Like it isn't good. The moldy outer layer, the, the packaging warning me, I trust me, bro, you can eat this. The outer waxy cum stuff. When I ate it, I expected to have the worst experience. And that was not the worst experience. It isn't good. It's like a D as in it's edible. If you as a restaurant person, like cut all this stuff away and just had this pool of cheese, I might be like, ah, oh, I'll have a little bit, but I'm, I'm not going back for seconds. I went back for seconds with this. This this is why this was fine. I went back for seconds. I was fine with it. I'm, I'm not having another go at this. No. We're not doing very well on these cheeses, chat. Like I just want to say, it's possible they're just getting rid of the stuff they can't sell. So this is Chris Lloyd Artisan Persian Feta Buffalo Cheese, South Australia. I mean, it's kept in a jar. It has to be good, chat. That's how that works. Feta is amazing. You can't go wrong with feta. Can it get better than what we had previously? <laughs> I get it, because better rhymes with feta. I am so fucking funny. We're about to find out. Ugh. And you look at this and you expect like a pickled flavor. And I like pickle flavor. And I was like, where, where the pickle flavor? I don't have a fork. Let's go, go with the fingers. I feel like I didn't get enough of the flavoring until I started to like swallow it. I was biting into so much bloody crackers. That's an easy B. I give this a B, right? This is, this is better than this. I don't I don't want to give this an A. I mean, like S tier is the best tier. We, we have S tier for best tier. I think I'd give this an A, okay? Because like in my mind, S tier cheese is the cheese that I'm going to buy. I don't think I'm going to buy this, but I mean, I think the texture, the sliminess of it, kind of attracts me. I like a hard cheese, chap. I like it when it's hard. It's definitely a cheese that I don't think I'll buy myself, but I'm, I'll be actually happy to see it places. Like, oh, can I have some of that feta cheese again? You beauty! This might actually be the first A cheese that I've got on the list. I'm gonna actually put this in my fridge and have some later. You want me to drink it? That's just oil. I think it might just be cooking oil. Am I gonna die? You can drink it? I mean, you can drink oil from like, I know your car. You shouldn't though. <laughs> Other than the death juice that it, surround, it surrounds it. Uh, I think feta cheese is good. We've discovered that, chat. I like feta cheese. I didn't expect to be so much oil. So that ends this month's cheese review. We'll be back next month and every month till the end of time or until a year has elapsed, which could be the same thing. You never know. We're back for another cheese review. But unfortunately, 
I have no idea if this cheese is still good. I got a text message when I was in Melbourne for PAX. It's like, oh, your cheese has arrived. I'm like, oh no, my cheese. As I contact my mother, I'm like, hey, can you go pick up the cheese? I don't think she left it out there that long, but it might've been a couple of hours and it's, it's cold inside, so should be fine. But basically I might die. And if I die, this will be a very short episode. The sort of grass that they put around the trees to protect it smells. Either that or there's some very stinky blue cheese in here. Looks good. Looks good. Ooh, a feta cheese. Oh, oh got, got some, got some feta cheese. Shout out. Your boy's excited. Your boy's excited. Leave the feta to last. Leave the feta to last. Brunny Island Cheese Co. C2. That's not a type of cheese, chat. It's boot cheese. I don't have anything to cut the cheese on. Perfect. It's foot fungus cheese. Sounds delicious. It's got that rind stuff on the side here. Just assume it's not edible. Never did I think cheese would be so complicated that I wouldn't know which parts of it to eat, but I have learned. So this is mature cheese. It's the kind of stuff that Minecraft YouTubers are not interested in. Why did I just say that? I'm sorry. Not sorry to Minecraft YouTubers. I mean, uh, sorry for my bad jokes. Cut in here. Cut in here. Cut down here. There we go. That's a nice little square like that. Yeah. Yeah. That might be the most cheese tasting cheese I've ever tasted. Like, that is the benchmark for cheese. It is perfectly mid. I mean, compared to a lot of other cheeses that I've eaten, this is actually pretty good, though. I think also because I'm kind of hungry, like, I might be a bit more lenient on the cheese. I'm going to put in B. It's a good kind of mid. Like, mid cheese is good cheese. Other cheeses being bad have elevated this cheese by comparison. What I don't like, though, is that this has got the side here that I can't eat, and the side's been extra hard and stuff. Only a portion of the cheese is probably edible. For that, I kind of want to dock at some points, but nah, nah, it's fine. It's good, it's good. You can eat it. I mean, you can eat anything if you try hard enough. I don't think you're meant to. I work in a cheese store. You can eat the rind. That's where most of the flavor is. Usually, although usually very strong. All right. I think some rind you can't eat though. From country cheese. Glen Muyas raw cow's cheese milk. Raw cow cheese milk? So this is milk cheese. Is that a type of cheese? It's bloody raw! The fragrance is not particularly nice. Seems a bit more rubbery. Mmm. I'm not liking this scent, chat. I'm wafting this and I'm, I'm not I'm not liking this. It doesn't look offensive, though. It looks like it could be a decent uh, taste in cheese. From prior experience of cheese that look like this, I think it will be fairly tasteless. That was unpleasant. That was actually unpleasant. It doesn't have the scent of blue cheese, but goddamn, does it taste like it. I might put an F. I, I, I never want to eat that again. It's even worse because it doesn't look like it would be bad, but it, it's not good. That's awful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a plain cracker. So hopefully get some of that flavor out of my mouth. Next up is Monforte, section 28, artisan cheeses. Monforte is our flagship cheese. Handcrafted in very limited quantities from the best cow's milk produced by the dairy. It is a raw milk, semi-hard cheese with a complex but not overpowering flavor. The cheese is sweet, milky, and fruity when young, and these flavors become more concentrated as it ages. In the more mature cheeses, the taste is buttery and creamy with emerging roasted nut flavors and an earthly undertone. The hell's an earthly undertone? The cheese got an aftertaste of dirt. It's very limited quality, it's rare cheese. Ah, oh, smell. It hit me. Mmm. 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 It's not, not as bad. It's not good. Oh, I'm not liking the smell. I'm, this, this is just gonna be the same as before. It doesn't really have much taste to it at all. There's taste there. It's not strong. It's not bad. If this cheese was on a platter, I may go back twice, three times. Not not because I'd want to, but because like, I'd be hungry, you know, eating some nibblies. I wouldn't avoid it. Leading between C and D. Like that I'm willing to have another is evidence that it's not a bad cheese. The smell of it is not amazing, but even the smell is nowhere near as bad as some other cheeses have smelled. Like comparing it to the mid cheese, this is below that. It's not, it doesn't offend me, this cheese. It's, it is acceptable. And now for the piece de resistance. I'm probably saying that incorrect. Pièce de résistance. Pecora Dairy Feta Raw Milk. Again, this raw milk thing, not like that idea, but the last feta was very good. 
Let's see if feta can continue to hold its crown as a, a top tier cheese. I don't like though, it's squishiness and stuff. It's hard, harder cheese to open. Actually, no, it is holding its own. It's holding its kind of kind of form there. I've had squishier cheeses. Bit slimy. Looks weird. Like you'd make a sandcastle out of this cheese. Was that it? My expectations were too high. There's no bad smell to this cheese. The texture is interesting. It's not hard, but it's not like ridiculously soft or slimy or something. It's just like, is there? You know, I, mm. The flavor is not much. I don't hate it. I could eat this cheese. There's just no flavor to it. Like the mid cheese was better, but this one's like easy to eat. There's no like rind or whatever. And it's just, it's simple. No offensive smell. I feel like you could put this in like a salad or something as like filler to like, like bunch together all the carrot and lettuce and stuff. The aftertaste, not that there is much taste, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I give this a B. It's definitely not a C tier a cheese. I, I don't I don't think it's A either. It'd be a crime to put this below B, but I think putting it above B requires it to be like a, a taste that kind of like, it's just like, wah, you know? Yeah, so not a bad selection of cheeses this time around, chat. So thank you for watching. We'll be back next month to show you the best of the cheeses of the world, apparently. We're sure the best. Yo, I realized that the cheese had been in my fridge. It's gotta be at least a week, and I don't know how long cheese la lasts in the fridge, so I think I better do this now. Apparently, it's spring, chat. Piece of paper says so. Piece of papers don't lie. It's actually cardboard. Ah, so it might not actually be spring, because cardboard does lie. This smells terrible. This is Jersey cheese from Gold Street. And it seems to be a liquid. It means I really should have a plate. Plate. Is it, is it actually liquid in here, or is it just slimy? Uh, ah! Uh, no! There's, there's only like bed sheets and stuff in there. Silk bed sheets, I can't be used. So these are my Jesus jeans that I, I wore once to be grief for Jesus and that'll do. <laughs> Hi chat. It's my grief for Jesus cosplay. Made for like, I'm not like fancy like you guys. I'm sure you guys got specific towels for cheese. You, you mop up the cheese juices. I don't. Doesn't really have much of a smell at all. Barely smell anything, really. Doesn't taste like much of anything, really. Tastes creamy. It's like I'm eating creamy jello. If you don't want to just eat a cracker, you want something else on the cracker, and this is all that's available, it's acceptable. It's like a C. I wouldn't be displeased to eat more of this, and if I was really hungry, I would totally eat more of this but I would never buy this. I would never be happy to see this somewhere. It's perfectly acceptable though. So yeah, squeeze that off, off the screen there. There we, there we go. I'll be real with you. The longer I am spending not eating that cheese, the more it's like going up in rankings for me. Cause the texture was quite pleasant. Even if the taste wasn't like super strong, but I know if I have more of it, it's still going to be a C. It's so weird. Montenade, earthy notes of butter and hazelnuts. Well, it's telling me the flavors right now. It's doing my job. Because my job is to tell you guys the flavors. Which I suppose I still did, but I just got an assist with, from the packaging. So, you got the rind bit on the end here. I don't think I'm meant to eat. It's like, it looks, it's like harder at the end. I, I want somewhere like down towards the end. It smells good. It smells like whatever the hell it said. It smells like on the front of the package. Honestly, I, I can't remember what it is. And it, I, What does the hazelnut smell like? You know what that tastes like? It tastes like cheese. Honestly, I prefer the texture of the previous cheese. The taste of this cheese is more cheesy. It's like what I consider stereotypical cheese to taste like. This is like a B. It's not blowing me away or something. It is just adequate. I'll be real with you. The more you're eating it though, kind of bumping it up. I mean, B is better than average. Like, like I should be calling it adequate. I'm kind of downplaying the cheese. It's pretty good. It's definitely better than the previous one. If you could combine the texture of that and the flavor of this, that'd be an A. Triple Creme Brie, Coal River Farm, Tasmania. So the previous one tastes like Hazelnut, this one's gonna taste like a coal river farm. Which doesn't seem like a good flavor for cheese. I agree with you. Well, that's, why would you go for that? That's weird. I'm gonna cut open this. I still got some uh, some jizz juices from the, the previous cheese that we were going off here. So this has wax around it, right? And I'm not meant to eat the white part? Is that how this works? They don't have an instruction book with the cheese. You can, no, not wax, no it's mold. But is it good mold or bad mold? You can eat it, you should eat it. It's a requirement. 
This is the cheese that my mother will buy and have on a little plate. Yeah, so this one's like a, like a little bit squishy in the center. All right, so that's a, probably a bit too much cheese. I've cut a bit too big of a wedge there. Let's not th let this be a wedge issue between us, chat. <laughs> mm. It's got a scent, but like you really gotta like suck it in there. Like you're basically eating the cheese with your nose to get it. It's not great. Scent alone, like a C. Again, it's that kind of creamy, slimy sort of texture and flavor. I think it's pretty good, honestly. It's not blowing me away, but it's, I think it's a B. Like, I'd be happy to see this with some crackers and some salami next to it, and some maybe some grapes on like a little platter. I think this is just like an improved version of the first one we did, you know? It's got the right amount of sliminess. The reason I'm putting in B is because I could potentially buy it. I was sitting in the shops and looking and go, oh, Brie cheese, I haven't had one of those in quite a while, let's crack on. Is this sponsored? I sponsored it. I am sponsoring myself to eat cheese. I'd like to give a shout out to Dark Viper AU, letting me sit here and eat cheese at 10 p.m. Dude's fucking crazy. Editing this is gonna be a huge pain because half my head's not on the screen. Okay, so here we go. This is called Holy Ghost La Luna, and it has far less cheese than the other cheeses. Sutton Grange Organic Farm. Fine quality handmade organic goat cheese. How do you hand make goat cheese? I don't get it. Where, where's the hands come in is what I'm trying to say. Where the, what are they ha handling with the goats? Giving a handy? I, I don't, it's, it's just weird. It's, it's not a good branding, I don't think. I'm having trouble opening this and so it's already in like an F category right now. I don't want to die trying to break into this cheese. Okay, I think I meant to like pull this. Okay, yeah, it's user error as it always is. Or oh, is this the wrong amount of slime? Mm. These are not completely wet, but... E. Ugh. What? Like, what? What is that? Like, it looks like dried up turd. Oh, is it, like, it, wait, what is this, what is this cutting? There's there no cutting here. It's just... Is this meant to be edible? Did they just throw in a fourth one as a joke? The middle is at least got some texture. Like, I can't, I can't. Is the outer edge not meant to be edible? Am I gonna die? When I can't even get it onto the cracker, you've already failed. It's about as goat as can be expected. Yes. Oh, that's awful. I gave the smell of that other one like a D as a joke, but this, this is F. Oh, no. <clears throat> mm. This is like moldy socks. Not just like socks that you've taken off recently that have your sweat in it, but you've left them there to like ferment for like a month. And then you put like water in your sock and you're just like sucking for dear life. I'm picking parts out of my teeth and just reliving this taste. It was a combination of like slimy, but not slimy. Like it had different textures due to the different parts that I've, I tasted. Like it, it, like, it should be in some sort of an oven or something a little bit longer. It tastes like a cheese substitute. You understand what it's trying to do, but it's like it's been made by a robot, and it, it has never had cheese, and so it's only read descriptions of cheese, and it's tried to make cheese based on those descriptions and failed miserably. With that being said, not the worst cheese I've had so far. I'm gonna give it an F, but like, relative to other cheeses, it could be like a D minus, but we're putting an F though. No minuses, just F. It is unfortunate, but this was the last one. And some part of me thinks that maybe if I had taken more cheese from the middle, would have been okay. I feel like I've been too harsh on this cheese, but that's because I know, I, I, it's, I'm starting to forget what the flavor was. But I, but I smell it, I can have it again in, in my brain, and I'm just like, no, get it away from me. Awful. You ate the wrong part? Then it should have come with an instruction manual. I mean, I need to burn that knife. Why do I have so many types of cheese? I give my jizz to a bunch of different companies and see what they can make out of it. They all got different techniques. And so ends this cheese review. Have three pretty good cheeses and one pretty bad one. I'll be back one second. Oh, I, I shouldn't use this mint. It's gonna ruin the flavor of the cheese. That did not go in the bin. Dang it. I remember to get a plate this time. I'm actually learning. I got some bad news, guys. This would be the last cheese of you. Not because I don't want to do more, but because the company that I'm buying this cheese from is going under. I mean, not going under, but they, they're canceling it. Like, it's not profitable for them to do. It just says, the December box will be our last. 
Here at Mold, we have not increased our prices since we began in May 2020, and to be direct, we had a tough decision to make. Dramatically increase our prices to cover the skyrocketing costs of cold chain logistics and packaging, or make a tough call to close the cheese delivery subscription service. And so they decided to close it down. Like, you don't understand, chat. Australia is a very hot place. As you would deliver cheese, of all things, like, you know, you drop off the package in the morning, perhaps, and it sits out there in the sun, potentially, or even just not directly in the sun, even in the shade, it's not going to do well, the cheese. For a person working a nine to five, you might get home at 6 p.m. Me working from home, even I'm like, oh no, I wake up and my, I, I think my cheese has been out there for three hours. It's still going to be good. I can't imagine how it is for other people. The logistical challenges there are probably pretty significant. And yeah, the cost of everything has continued to go up and I totally understand that they're going to close it down. We had some fun though. And I'm happy to know that my reviews have not necessarily uh, tanked the company. I guess we'll just enjoy the last cheese review. It was Gouda while it lasted. Yes, it was. This is Kafkan Lychee Artisan Cheese. Semi-hard cheese rubbed with Colombian ground coffee. What? It's cheese and coffee. Huh. Is it hand rubbed though? Or does the machine do it? I want to taste the love. Oh, I can smell that coffee. Oh. This outer part, that's just coffee. That's straight coffee. So I guess I'm meant to take a bit of the coffee with it. No, I, are you bad? Are you not meant to eat raw coffee? The pure coffee is not meant to eat. Oh, am I gonna die? Yes, but I had a good run. I die with the company. I barely tasted any of that because I was just trying to get it down because I, I was so concerned about it. Okay, we're taking a bigger chunk here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Tastes like cheese. It tastes a lot more like cheese than it does coffee, let me tell you. I'm not sure what the coffee does here. It just tastes like cheese. I taste no coffee. Is this like a gimmick where it's like, oh, we'll get these people to pay 10 times the price because I think it'll be extra special because we rub it with coffee. Uh, I don't, I don't taste it. Tastes good. I'm, I'm going, I'm going back for seconds here. Like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not displeased. So maybe, maybe the coffee is doing something here, making it taste, taste extra good. I guess I want to try it without the coffee rubbing and, and with, but I guess I can't. Got a little smudge of coffee on here, but that's probably fine. Yeah, I would comfortably eat this entire thing. This is an A cheese. It's not blowing me away emotionally. It's not changing my life. But this is, uh, this is good. These artisan cheese people have, have made a fine cheese. There's definitely a cheese that if I was at a party and I, I saw it, like, it with some crackers, I'd be, I'd be just camping that out for the next couple of hours. All conversations with me would happen around this cheese as I continue to slowly eat it. While I was trying not to look like a guts, just like shoveling it all in my mouth. I'm, I'm having a third bit. It's how good this is. Can we send you cheese instead? I can get you some Swiss and Italian. No, the the costs of people internationally sending me cheese would just be insane. Shipping costs to Australia are a lot, and I wouldn't want to deal with all the hassles of continuously getting packages and stuff, you know? Like when larger creators have PO boxes, they usually have other people that manage them, and they have a very large house where they have like an extra room, room where they can just keep stuff. Uh, I don't have that, you know? Stone and Crow Cheese Company, The Curfew. Goat's Milk Semi-Hard Cheese. I think we've had this one before, chat. Check the tapes. I think this is a repeat. It looks familiar. Sounds familiar. Has a chalky aroma. Doesn't have a cheesy smell. Has an odd smell. I think this is one of the ones where you're not meant to eat the side. The rind. It is goat, yeah. I'm not sure goat cheese is the best. Have I liked much goat cheese thus far? Are there some people who prefer goat cheese, or is it just cheaper to make, or...? Where's the flavor? Uh, where, where, where the flavor go? I'm exaggerating a little bit. Like I can, I can, uh, I can taste something. I'm eating something. It's not unpleasant. There's nothing unpleasant about the experience of eating this cheese chat. It is just, I'm eating for nothing. This is what you eat when you need to eat, have some calories. And this is the only thing in your fridge. This is like, I need something in my hands so I don't feel awkward at this party. I'm gonna have this cheese because it's inoffensive. This might be the most mid cheese I've ever eaten. It might actually be the most mid thing I've ever eaten. I don't hate it though. Like I would absolutely continue to eat this as like just an accompaniment to the cracker. 
The texture is perfectly fine. It, it is semi-hard. It's not crumbly. It's not slimy. It's just a good texture. A good texture with a very light flavor profile. I'm going to say high C, but I can't put it in B because I'm not loving this flavor. It feels mean to give it a C though, because it's not, it's not unacceptable. It's not bad. It's, it's just mid. It's just really, there's cheese, I guess. Oh no. Long paddock cheese, silver wattle, soft lactic cheese. When I'm ripe, I'm deliciously soft and runny. So serve me in a bowl with a spoon. I neither have a bowl nor a spoon. I finally have a plate. I finally got one and it's insufficient for my needs. Nevertheless, I will persevere. Something about God sending his strongest warriors the toughest challenges. <laughs> Nobody understands the struggles I have to go through, man. Oh, oh. Like I'm gonna unleash the Kraken, like, uh, uh, no, this, this is not a good scent at all. Oh. Uh. Have we had this? Have we had this one? I think we had this one before, chat. Oh, it's something very similar to this. Is this meant to be edible? These Play-Doh fucking cheeses. Mm. You can do it, Matto. Strongest warrior. Strongest warrior. <laughs> I don't know if the outer shell can be eaten. It's like a gooey, thicker layer. You know, the center is like fresh cum, and the outer layer is like five-day-old cum. Similar smell. <laughs> Matt, why do you know the, the, the day's smell profile of cum? <laughs> I, w I was just... I was just... Speaking in metaphor and in, in, in analogies, you know, uh, try and try to paint your picture with my words, okay? <laughs> it's this, this is basically surgery right here. I'm, I'm not, I'm not faking it, chat. Like this is, it's just, it's just, it's, even the camera doesn't want to look at this thing. Bro is the worst cutter. You have no conception how hard it is to do. It's meant to be eaten with a spoon. It's like I'm trying to cut soup. This motherfucker out here not being able to cut soup. What a loser. Skill issue. Ugh. I heard it too long in front of my nose. Strongest warrior. Strongest warrior. Strongest warrior. In all the time doing this, I never needed the assist of Pepsi Max, but I, w I wasn't going to make it. Ah, I felt like I quit. I quit out too early. I should I should have kept going. That was one of the most disgusting things I've ever tasted in my life. Remember, you are a strong warrior. I think I'd, I've, I've dealt with worse before, though. <laughs> Try again? You know what? No. I'm going to live with my shame of failure <laughs> rather than experience that terrible taste again. We're going to put this in the hot garbage category. This is the first non-blue cheese, I think, that's gone into hot garbage. But this is this is bad. This is, I think, the company's attempts to murder, to poison all their customers so they can't complain when they stop delivering them cheese. They're just gonna keep charging those accounts, keep getting that subscription money because the person we dead, they will never cancel their subscription. And they're gonna ride off into the sunset. I think we've uh, solved a, a, a bunch of potential murders here, chap. You know, I, I think I'm the new Sherlock Holmes. Handcrafted since 1983, vanilla. Artisan cheese. Buffalo mozzarella. It's a weird container. It's a, uh, it's like a soup. Isn't buffalo cheese and mozzarella cheese two different types of cheese? Are they breeding cheese? They keep different cheeses in like the same cage and they let them mate and then eat their children. There seems to be some sort of child lock on my cheese. There we go. This was like a dumpling. I've extracted the cheese. The cheese ball. It's like alien life. Doesn't have a bad scent, doesn't have much of a scent at all. Doesn't have a cheesy scent, chat. It does look like it'd be a good building material though. Like it's moldable, flexible, but like solid. You could like insulate your house with this. Cuts pretty cleanly. There's like an outer layer, but I think the outer layer is probably edible. If this is alien life, I may have just doomed humanity, chat. You would want some chat? It's the, it's the last cheese ever in this series. I don't think we've, we've ever had an S, chat. Could this be the only S? Nope. Slimy, 
squishy, nothing. It's even more nothing than the previous cheese that I described as nothing. But the previous cheese I described as nothing had like a good texture, felt good to eat. This just feels like a waste. It doesn't add to the cracker. The cracker is the only thing I'm getting here. Try without the cracker? What am I, some kind of an animal? I'm washing it around my mouth. Nothing. It's not even a good kind of slimy. All that it's got going for it is that it isn't the hot garbage cheese I just ate before. I feel insulting to put this in F, but it is not hot garbage. It doesn't offend me, but it has nothing going for it. Like, I would not eat more of this if I was at a party and it was on the table with crackers. I'd be like, I'd eat it once. I'd be like, well, that was a letdown. In a weird way, knowing it could have been something else, like anything else, makes me put it down even lower. If this was the only cheese in existence, I'd probably give it a D. Because I'd be like, well, you know, this is the best I can get. So that's, I just got to live with it, right? But knowing that this cheese could have been any other cheese in existence, except all the worst cheeses, obviously, it makes it even worse. Missed opportunity is what I'm saying. So F, did not end on a high note. I mean, with a name like Buffalo Mozzarella, you'd think it'd be very good, but they're, they're having two different types of cheese fuck and still can't get some flavor. My suggestion, have your buffalo or your mozzarella just fuck a ditto and just get more mozzarella and uh, more buffalo. Keep them separate. They ain't good as a combination. So there you have it. Seven months of cheese reviews. Hopefully this has been educational for you and hopefully the end result will be educational for me. When I see my own tier list, I will go and buy myself some more of any A or B tier cheese. I don't think we ever had any S cheese. If we did, I'll buy more of that. This was fun and cool to do, like once a month. If there's anything that you think would also make for a good review tier list thing, feel free to suggest it on my Discord. I got a separate section for that stuff now, suggestions for tier lists. Um, tier lists can be fun. Give my thoughts in a very easy, consumable way or help me experience new things like as I experienced these last couple of months. Hope you enjoyed it. Did I enjoy it? <laughs> I tasted some really horrific things. Like really, really horrific. Like I, I, th things that I smelled and taste, I wouldn't think things could smell that bad or taste that bad. But I did eat some good stuff too. So it was, it was good. I do not regret my decisions. I say I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. Boop. I gotta tell you, since I replaced this foam or whatever on my microphone, booping it is a lot harder now. Like, I can actually feel that on my nose. The other one was softer. <laughs> anyway.